How are you doing guys? Roscoe here at NYP. A massive congratulations on the Christmas and New Year break. I hope you had a great time, lots of time spent with your family, doing the things you enjoy with the people you care about. Now, did you get sucked into the whole illusion of Christmas and New Year? Getting lost on what time it was, getting lost where you should be, what you should be doing. Don't worry, I got lost in it as well. That's what's great about it. Uh, hopefully the transition back into work this week, or if you were unlucky enough, fortunate enough to go back last week, has not been too drastic. But did you all suffer the same problems that I had? And that was coming up against all the stuff that you overdid during the break. So I'm talking about overeating, I'm talking about oversleeping, over drinking, over relaxing, okay, and lack of that mental sort of stimulation, that lack of work thinking. So today, in this short video, I'm just gonna give you some things to think about with regards to those five areas, stuff that I do and I think you should do to really jumpstart your 2018. Now remember, most people will fail on their resolutions in the first two weeks, okay? So hopefully your resolutions are going strong and you're doing well and keeping the strength and the faith that you're gonna be successful for the rest of the year. So, number one way to combat overeating. You now need to start getting back to eating regularly. Okay, so the problem was when it was Christmas and New Year, parties, laying in, going to bed late, your sort of whole routine was thrown out. So what you need to start to think about is morning breakfast, your lunch, and then your dinner. What does that look like? Start to think clear and clean. I'm gonna add some links to some plant-based foods that I've been eating and I eat, and my wife and my family eat. They'll be really good for cleansing and for actually just jumpstarting your health kick for 2018. I'll give you three recipes, a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. They'll be in the email, okay? You also need to start thinking about what you're gonna be doing after you've been eating, okay? So you need to start thinking about how your day is structured. Now, with regards to all that stuff, sleeping is very important. You'll have spent way too much time sleeping over Christmas and New Year. Okay, like I said, going to bed late and then sleeping throughout the day. So you need to start to think about the bookends of your day. How do you start your day and how do you finish? So let's start with how you finish your day, okay? Start to go to bed a little bit earlier. We all know if you've overslept or not been doing enough over Christmas and New Year. So I want you to start to get some early nights. So bed by 10, okay? In bed for 10 o'clock, but I'll never get to sleep. That's fine. Just get into bed, get a nice book to relax you and read to for 20 minutes, half an hour, but in bed by 10, because that then allows you the next day to get up a little bit earlier. We'll have been lying in over Christmas and New Year, so I want you to start to get up a little bit earlier. Start with 10 minutes, start with 20 minutes. Every day, just get up a little bit earlier, and before you know it, it'll be half five, six o'clock, and you'll be in a good place, ready to jumpstart your day. If you wanna know more about the morning routines and what I do, um, what my clients all do, just drop me a message and I'll be happy to share that with you. So we've covered the overeating, we've covered the oversleeping, now we need to worry about the over drinking. Again, I was teetotal up until about December last year, literally had two drinks throughout the year. One was at my brother's wedding, one was when I cycled to Paris. Um, but in December, I probably drank more uh, bubbles and Prosecco than I had in the last sort of 10 years of my life, but it was fine, I enjoyed it. Celebrating with my wife and my family for Christmas, it was cool. But no, I'm not drinking for 2018. I'm definitely doing dry January, okay? I'm planning on doing dry 2018. Um, you guys who are not prepared to go that far, that's okay, that's fine. All you need to do is say, I'm only gonna drink at the weekend. I'm gonna have a drink on a Friday and a Saturday, and that's it. And then limit yourself to what you're going to be drinking. Is it gonna be a couple of beers? Is it gonna be a glass of wine? Or I'm only gonna drink when I go out? But get back to that healthy routines, okay? Those healthy boundaries in place for when you're drinking and where you're drinking, okay? Because the party season stopped now, it's about you focusing on what's good for you. So. Overeating, over sleeping, over drinking. Now, over relaxing. You'll have done nothing over Christmas and New Year. That's fine. Okay, you find out what it's like to relax, to engage with your friends and family. It's all good. You might have gone on the odd walk. That's fine. But now, I want you to get back to a place where you're exercising regularly. 20 minutes at least of something every day. Do it in the morning when you're getting up a little bit earlier. Just go for a 20 minute walk. If you want some exercise plans or you want to know what my clients are doing, drop me a message and I'll share that stuff with you. But 20 minutes of something every day. Now, lack of work thinking, so the last one, that mental sort of stimulation. I want you now to pick a book. You'll have got a book for Christmas. There'll be books on sale now in this January sale. Get a book that gets your brain thinking, whether it's a problem solving book or it's a uh, biography or something you can really start to get your brain ticking over or even better, a book that's gonna upskill you, okay? So learn a new language or upskill you in your work. But 
five things that are problems over Christmas and New Year, five solutions to those problems in Christmas over the year. I hope you've uh, really enjoyed this. I hope this is of some of use to you. If it is, comments, send me a little message, share this on Facebook and on the internet. I've done it in five minutes. I'm out of here. I'll speak to you all soon. Guys, have an amazing day. Remember, the future depends on what you want to do with it. And all I want to say is MYP. Guys, remember, that's it. Okay, that's it for me today. Have a great day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.